Hey, Kevin. What are you clamping? Hey, this is a piece of half-inch plate. And I was just going to chamfer that edge and cut it in two so I can weld it together. So I went up with a square, basically, of half-inch for a piece that I'm working on. Do you know what chamfering is, right? Mm, uh, fill me in. <laughs> now, we don't fill it in. We grind it off. Then we fill it in. Chamfering is when you you got a thicker piece of metal. You know, anything over, you know, in my shop, anything over about an eighth of an inch. You know, a quarter inch or so, then it starts to chamfer it a little bit. Where you actually take and grind away the edge just a little, either on one side, deeper, or on both sides, not quite so deep. Just to give you a little V in, the, in your joint, so you can get a little more fill in there, so you can get a little more penetration in there. You know, to be able to get a nice good, you know, nice nice joint right there so you don't have anything break. So if you have a piece of half inch plate and you're going to want to weld that together, what I would normally do is let's come in, oh, uh, let's say about uh, a quarter of an inch. So that's half of the width of half, the metal. Half of the half, right. You know, so come in about a quarter of an inch. And you're going to come down, maybe not quite a quarter, you know, just a little bit shy of a quarter. And you're going to grind that off. And if you did the same thing on the bottom, you know, you'd wind up with something like that, assuming it came out square and straight rather than the way I draw. So what you wind up with is a little bit of a, a tab, you know, a little flat spot in here that would match up with the flat spot on the other piece of plate. So you would butt those two together and then back it off, go, oh, you know, say maybe an eighth of an inch in the middle right there, you know, a sixteenth to an eighth right in that area. So you can get, you know, penetration down inside there. And then you would weld in here. This would be your first pass. This would be your second pass. And this would be your top or top cap or top pass, I forget what they call it. And that's how you fill that in. And then you would do it, you know, on this side and fill that whole gap in. Let's let's assume that, you know, that the way you were going to chamfer that piece of metal right there, that's so if you have access to both sides of the piece. You, know, you can weld it on both sides. But what happens if you don't? What happens if you're putting something up and you can't get to the back side to weld it? Then out of your half inch piece of metal, you would come in, say, down into, you know, about an eighth to a uh, little more than an eighth, but less than a quarter. And you would just take out that big chunk that way. So you so, want to do both pieces of metal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want to do both pieces of metal. Sure. You know, now, you know that, that, that first example, that was a double bevel. This is a single bevel. Bevel or chamfer, same Bevel, thing? Bevel, chamfer, same thing. At least the way I use it, same thing. You know, for, for you professionals out there, forgive me. You come in with your root pass, you know, you get your, your first pass in there and get that one done, and then you come in with the second one if you have to, and then you come in with your cap on top to fill it all back in. So like I say, you know, as far as I'm concerned, starting at about a quarter, uh, you know, a quarter of an inch, then I'll start doing this. So okay. half of the thickness of your metal. Well, not quite half. Not quite half because you want a little flat spot in there for the two pieces to bump up against one another. But you want that bevel on both sides so you can get a nice joint in there so you get lots of penetration so everything's good and tight. Yeah, you know, if, if you came in and, and put your, your chamfer in there, your bevel in there like that, where you took off half on the top and half on the bottom, then you wind up with a point, basically. You know, you wind up with a really tiny little thin edge that you're going to blow right through as soon as you start welding because, you know, you're running a bunch of amperage because it's a thick piece of plate. So I like to leave that little that little center section in there. So you got a little bit of meat to get into and then work it up from there. You going to show us? Well, I got glasses on. Yeah, why not? out of a half inch plate 
come down about a third, leave about a third, and grind off the other third. So once I finish this off, and then cut this plate in half, bring this over here, set it up there, clamp it down, weld it, weld it, to be done. And what's the purpose of doing this? More penetration on a thicker plate, a thicker piece of steel, you know, rather than trying to just turn the voltage up or turn the amperage up on you know, whatever machine you're using and just trying to power through it, this allows you to run it at a little lower voltage Still get good penetration. You're not overheating the metal. You know, things just work out right. This, this is just good practice. You know, my numbers may not be exactly perfect, <laughs> because let's keep in mind what I do, but this is the way I've learned how to do it, you know, from reading online and watching other guys do it. So, you know, this is the way that works for me. And you noticed I was using a big, you know, 7-inch grinder with a stone on it rather than a soft pad. Want to cut some metal. You know, don't want to mess around, want to get the job done, just kind of blow right through that. You know, I'm not worried about how that looks because it's all going to get welded over anyways. Dust mask, hearing protection, safety glasses, you know, put some gloves on, try to keep in mind where the sparks are going. And speaking of where things are going, hopefully you guys are going to go right, well, let's right down there somewhere, and push that subscribe button so you know when my next video comes out, and if you get the chance. Please come out to my website, you know, look around out there. You can sign up for my newsletter, keep in touch with what's going on, you know, in my world. I hope that helps. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, Kevin, what do you see? Through these, not much. <laughs>